Welcome to dividing by simplifying the denominator. So here what we have is, um, is we have a division problem and you can see we have a lot of activity going on. We have some denominators that are getting pretty crazy. So when trying to solve these problems, the main important thing I want to look at is let's rewrite this when it's not looking like a fraction. So what this really states is 7 divided by not just 4, not just 3, not by negative 8, but by all of them. So since I need to group them all together, I am going to use parentheses. All right. So now if I was going to use order of operations for here, I notice I have parentheses, so I have to use my operations and my parentheses first. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 divide or 12 minus 8 is going to be 4. And then I'm just left with 7 divided by 4, which is um, not going to be a very nice number. So I'll just leave it as 7 divided by 4 as a uh, rational fraction number. Uh, now here, so once you understand, when you look at this, all we really need to do then is just simplify my denominator. So here I have 16. Negative 8 plus 4 is just going to give me a negative 4. 16 divided by negative 4 simply just leaves me with a negative 4. And here I have uh, a negative 2 divided by 8 minus 4 divided by 2. Now, I was kind of mean with this one. I don't really know why I did a double division symbol. Um, we'll go through this, but you're never really going to see too many problems like this. Just simplify the numerator. Just make sure I did this just to make sure to kind of catch you to make sure that we follow order of operations. So uh, since I'm div simplifying my denominator, I have to follow my order of operations again. 4 divided by negative 2 is negative is um, is 2. 8 minus 4, uh, I'm sorry, 8 minus 2 is going to leave me with a 6. So I have 2 divided by 6, which I can reduce down to a negative 1 third. So I just kind of want to show you a quick little problem like that. But that is how you simplify by dividing or s dividing simplify the numerator.